I'm interested in your view on why this has been such a an ongoing struggle for the federal government to acknowledge the obvious. I mean, alcohol is what's killing people right now. Yes. And marijuana yes. has all of these medicinal purposes. Um, it is not nearly as toxic as yes. alcohol is. And yet, for some reason, the federal government won't budge. And a lot of other countries won't budge either. Why hasn't the move been faster? All of these deals were cut before we were born. These deals were cut at the end of prohibition when you could start to have legal um, liquor companies. And who wants to compete with something else? As a paper company, I wouldn't want to compete with hemp if I'm into cutting down trees because hemp is a cheaper, easier way to do it. In terms of medicinal uses, I wouldn't want painkillers to be um, to be to be knocked if marijuana and hemp if, if cannabis is proved more effective. So there's a lobby group. And let's just admit, at this point, this country is oligarchish in a way that the people that have done deals 40, 50, 50, 60 years ago is still in dealing. I think that's one of the one of the really great things you just listed all the reasons why you ran to do this show to do tumbleweeds. Um, but I I would think that this show, this docu series airing, and the first two episodes are on tonight on Vice TV, can show people yeah. the benefits and and that this isn't some you know scourge on, on America, right? I don't get paid to tell you this. And I don't care who you vote for it so long as they're so long as they're running on the behalf of the people.